Welcome everybody to United Gamers Authority. My name is Shade and we are going to be giving a little bit of a bonus video today if I can stop bumping my microphone. We're going to go over the process of creating your own test world and going over the different admin tools and admin commands that you can use to test out different builds, test out what zombies can do, test out what different weapons can do to help you understand the mechanics of the game a little bit better going forward also it helps you understand the way servers are run because all this stuff can also be used on servers provided you are an admin on that server so without further ado let's dig in Alright, first things first, let's go ahead and uh, start a new game here. There's all kinds of different things here, and we're just going to call it um, Testing World 1, okay? And you can do any of, any of these worlds if you wanted. Um... This one here isn't a valid world anymore. Uh, doing a huge world, doing a lot of testing and stuff, it could potentially... Um, not going to say lag, because lag's more of an online thing, but it can cause some serious uh, low-quality issues, some jitteriness and stuff like that. Um, I would suggest going with the... 4000 by 4000 this world version is um alpha 18 so it's not going to work because we are in alpha 19.4 b7 as you can see in the top right hand corner and of course my cat wants out because i just started recording or not he's being a jerk so all these would be good but what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump just into Nav's Nav's game to make it the easiest we can. Um, server visibility on a test world, I would suggest not listed. This can always be changed later, and I'll show you upon loading loading it. Um, max players doesn't matter. If you do want to set it to where you know people can join you, I would suggest putting a password on it. But I'm just gonna not list it, and I'm just gonna do a one, two, three, four, five, easy password. Um, just to have something there the I would it really doesn't matter on a test world what you do with all these settings the you can test them and then we can change them later and we'll go, we'll go ahead and get into that um, first thing so let's say you get this all done you, and then um, we don't list it we start up the world Okay, so you get in the game, you get past these beginning little things here, and now you're in the game. But then you notice that something's a little bit different. You're missing some things here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and clear this out. And then we're going to go ahead and exit now that the world's been generated. And we're going to go to continue game, and then we're going to go to test world one. And we're going to go through and check a couple of things here. This is where you can change it if you wanted to. Um, we're actually going to go ahead and have it on the max 24-hour cycle. So we have the longest daytime for testing purposes. Because I'll show you how we can force change that in a little bit. Um, daylight length. Blood Moon Frequency you can change if you wanted. The way zombies spawn you can change. Um, let's see here. Where is it? Cheat mode right here. We forgot to do that. So now we can actually go ahead and change it on there. Um, go ahead and mark airdrops. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We can. This is a test world. So just so it doesn't clutter up, I'm just going to keep it off. And actually, I'm just going to go ahead and disable airdrops for that. If I have some people come in, um, 
we'll go ahead and just max out that just in case and no killing and we'll go ahead and put the password in one two three four five six and that should be good as long as we have that creative mode on and then we'll go ahead and start it again all right so now we're in now what does creative mode do creative mode automatically puts this little light bulb up here at the top and it will give you access to all items in the game but before we do that before you start looking through you want to make sure that you're not going to die so you want to hit f1 on your keyboard it's the button next to the escape top left hand side of your keyboard and then right here we want to do dm enter and what db dm is is debug mode and if you didn't already have that cheat menu you could actually type in cm to pull it up because right now creative menu on creative menu off um if we go into here it's it's still on because we turned it on in the base settings but that's another way you can actually turn the creative menu on if i could just stop hitting the wrong buttons it would be nice yeah so let's some of the beginning things are some of the controls in the debug menu q gives you god mode and flight all at the same time and you can fly around um hitting q again will turn it off if you um want to keep the the god mode on but don't want to fly you push h and it will turn it off but you'll still have god mode on um so let's find a good open spot to do some testing and the place i like to go is actually the farm and if you're moving forward you're pushing shift it's really slow you can as you're moving forward holding shift down you could tap q and it will teleport you forward a ways and what we're doing is we're looking for the farm which i believe is going to be this way um, I believe it's still going this way yep here it is this is the the farm area here and this is dyersville over there I like the farm because it's got a very large flat area right here. And so let's just hit H. And because God Mode's on, falling from this height, sounds like it hurts, but it really doesn't. Now, zombies, you're going to have them in the world. And they're going to be smacking you. So let's deal with this guy the creative way. If you go into your thing, you want these speaker looking things, you want to turn those on. And you want to go to items and then you want to type in dev and these are all the dev items so right now let's go ahead and grab ourselves a dev pistol digger hammer wrench and then there's a bunch of other items here that do a lot of different things um and this guy's really getting annoying and we're gonna go over some of these later on but i'm just going to go ahead and get them in my inventory this is kind of cool because you can add and remove terrain we'll go over this and so there's all your dev tools i don't think i missed anything no all right so this guy's trying his best to hurt me and we don't need this beginning stuff because i mean it's a dev world we can do what we want well, it's a test world. Now, there's two guns here. The second one here will not hurt a zombie at all. Oh, it actually does hurt him now. It's just very little. It doesn't really do anything. This is a one-shot, one-kill on anything and everything. And it deletes the body. And it's got a decent range on it too now the cool thing about this gun is this is a digger tool it will delete any block in the game and you can actually have a lot of fun with this 
even at a decent distance. Let's see if I can, yep, uh, knocked over a tree. You could level mountains, um, all kinds of things with this. It's a lot of fun. Yep, just knocked over that tree. Come on. Although it's kind of hard to aim at long distances. So, yeah, just deletes blocks. All right. So that's, that's the basics. So what do these other things do? Let's go ahead and get into our inventory and check them out. Um, I believe this is just a weapon. Um, of sorts. This, uh, let's see here. If I can select the wrench. Um, yeah, the wrench will harvest anything in one swing. Let's, uh, test that out. There should be a car around here somewhere. There's one. And I'm technically flying just on the ground. Yep. See, one swing, and it pulled everything off of it. So there's that. Uh, we don't need that stuff, though. So that's that. Um, this one, I believe, will kill anything in one hit. Let's try that out. Or it'll break any block in one hit. Yep. Trying to find somebody. Also, in God mode, you can fly through walls. It's amusing. Oh, there's a dog. Hey, puppy. I hate these dogs. It's the same thing, but this one harvests stuff as you as you hit hit it. The uh, digger gun does not. All right, so that's the hammer and the wrench. Let's uh, we don't need all of this. The wire tool. Uh, spawns an assortment of electrical installations. Really? I have not gone over all of these, but we're, we're kind of going over them together. Um, oh, wow. Okay. It just... Wow. Okay. It spawns all the electrical stuff, apparently. And the stuff to go with them. So there's that. Uh, let's see here. Solar panels are not craftable in the game, so... That's a thing. At least I have not seen them craftable yet. They might be adding them later. So that's how you can test out different builds with a bunch of electrical stuff. All right. And then we have this hat, simple cloth wrap to dress wounds, uh, use it to stop bleeding, use a secondary action to trade another player. So basically this is a, uh, a super healing kit. Um, I'm not sure what these boots do. Let's look up the website I have. Um... The boots provide super jump instead of normal jump. Okay, so let's go ahead and check that out. Let's go ahead and wear that. Now, the um, there used to be a poncho. Um, I did not see it in there in the list. And the poncho used to just give all resist. 
Um, they may have just changed it to this other item. So let's see what this does to our stats. Yeah, health. It gives you 20,000 health. So you can see how much damage different things do to yourself. Explosions, zombies, whatnot. Um, let's see. These glasses don't have a description. Oh, bo loot bonus. Okay, so those are looting glasses. Uh, this one's a plus 100 loot bonus. Uh, I'm guessing it also gives you... Yeah, shades of looting. And these are plus 200 shades of looting. So this gives a loot bonus. This gives a loot bonus and apparently helps with the treasure quests. We will be testing those out more later. This is a miner's helmet. Um, light source and heat and cold resist. Okay, so that took the place of the um, poncho. And this will burn anything around you. We'll be testing that out later. Um, and this is the equivalent to a full suit of armor. So, I will be back momentarily. Alright, so we're back. Um, the dev drink will reset everything on your character. We'll be testing out that out later. Uh, note to testers. Spawns an assortment of dev items. Note to self. Remove from entity classes for release candidates. That's funny. So, it spawns assortment stuff. So, what does it do? Wow. Okay, so it actually spawns all the dev stuff that we just had. That's funny. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and just... Uh, oh, red pill. Paintbrush doesn't require paint. I didn't actually see the red pill. Oh yeah, because they don't. It's not marked dev in the title of it, so that's why. The red, the there used to be a red pill and a blue pill. I don't see it on here. Um, let's just get rid of all this stuff real quick, um, and we'll be trying out these uh, the two different shades of looting. Um, the fool's cap and stuff like that. So, um, the red pill, it tests food effects. Um, and you can clear all kinds of different status effects on it. So you don't have to be in God mode. You can actually use all this stuff and test how different things react. We'll be testing that out later. We'll be taking a look at that later. Um, oh, I already have that on i already have one of those and this is starts a quest to point you to the nearest trader so this if you don't know where the traders are you can uh read that and it will give you a marker on your map to the nearest trader which is that way and if i go into my map or quest log i can go ahead and track that and it will turn yellow and blink and you can see it right there so that's really cool then last two items we have is the terrain removal and ter terrain add so yeah you can just build up something here or you can take it away there so that could be really cool if you're testing a design and you don't want to have to use the digger tool to take away stuff. You just get rid of it like this. I would probably suggest being careful with it so you don't mess things up too bad like I just did. Big old hole in the ground. All right, so that is going to be it for this episode. That's just kind of a um, quick rundown of the different tools you have at your disposal to do testing in seven days. So thank you all for watching. 
If you like the video, please hit that like button. Next time we will be going over some more advanced tips and tricks for a testing world. See y'all on the flip side. Later.